But the basic understanding is that you don't understand. That's a very, very brilliant truth. I can read you my, the best poem I ever wrote, The Librarian. is all Frank Moore, describing him as my brother, the brother who got born misshapen and all this. I don't want to read it, because it's, because I hope I can read it. Here, here. It's called the library. The landscape. The landscape, again, Gloucester. The shore one of me is, it duplicates, and from which, from offshore I, Maximus, am removed, observe. In this night I moved on the territory with combinations, new mixtures of old and known personages. The leader, my father, in an old guise, here selling books and manuscripts. My thought was, as I looked in the window of his shop, there should be materials here for Maximus. When, then, I saw he was the young musician, has been there, been before me before. It turned out it wasn't a shop, it was a loft, wharf house, in which, as he walked me around a year ago, came back. I had been there before, with my wife and son. I didn't remember. He presented me insinuations via himself and his girl, both of whom I had known for years, but never in Gloucester. I had moved them in to my country. His previous appearance had been in my parents' bedroom, where I found him intimate with my former wife. This boy was now the librarian of Gloucester, Massachusetts. Black space, old fish house, motions of ghosts, I dogging his steps. He, not my father, by he, not my father, by name himself, with his face twisted at birth, possessed of knowledge, pretentious, giving me what in the instant I knew better of. But the somber place, the flooring, crude like a waltz in a barn's space. I was struck by the fact I was in Gloucester and that my daughter was there, that I would see her. She was over the cut. I hadn't even connected her with my being there, that she was here, that she was there in the promised land, the cut. But there was this business of poets that all my Jews were in the fish house too, that the librarian had made a party. I was to read. They were. There were many of them slumped around. It was not for me. I was outside. It was the fort. The fort was in East Gloucester, old Gorton's Wharf, where the library was. It was a region of coal houses, bins. In one, a gang was beating someone to death in a corner of the labyrinth of fences. I could see their arms and shoulders whacking down, but not the victim. I got out of there, but cops trailed me along the fort beach toward the tavern. The place is still half dark, mud, coal dust. There is no light east of the bridge. Only on the headland toward the harbor from Cressy's have I seen it once when my daughter ran out, ran out on a spit of sand, isn't even there. Where is Bristow? When does 1A get me home? I am caught in Gloucester. What's buried behind Lufkin's diner? Who is Frank Moore? <laughs> You live with your people as well as your ghosts. The Librarian is included in the book The Distances, poems by Charles Olson, published by Grove Press. Vulcan, Vulcan, like 
Neptune's father, my, I mean, no, Apollo's father, yeah. Vulcan. We need that like a hole in our heads. We need neither Vulcan nor Apollo. We need only heaven and earth. This is NET, the National Educational Television Network.